In order to understand God's full revelation of what it means to be human through Jesus the Christ, it's actually important to go back to a time even before Jesus the Christ lived and walked on this earth. It's important, according to John Sox and really all Christian theologians, to go all the way back to the very first story in the Bible. And that very first story in the Bible, after all, is called the Genesis account of creation. Now, sometimes people misunderstand what those stories about creation are really intended to tell us. They believe that those stories are intended to tell us a history, that the Bible, for example, really should be read as a history book. That is not necessarily a very good way to interpret the biblical texts. And the reason why is because those who wrote the biblical texts had a different agenda, a different purpose in mind. Their purpose was essentially to tell us not so much where we came from, not just to relate a past event, but really to tell us who we are now and what we can hope for. After all, when we look at those biblical texts, we recognize that there are several different strands of authorship. So, for example, in the Pentateuch, which is the first five books of the Bible, we recognize that there are four different strands of authorship written during different historical time periods with very different historical contexts and very different theological perspectives, that is, perspectives on who is God. And those are known as the Yahwist source, the priestly source, the Deuteronomic source, and the Eloist source. In all of those sources, what we recognize is that a plan is being revealed, and it is a plan that has to do with how we will relate to God and what God intends to do for humanity. That plan is revealed as a plan unto covenant. And throughout that entire plan, what we recognize is that God is the power that created the universe, that created every single being within the universe. The Greek word that is used for that is the word dunamis, from which we get the word dynamite, and that humans are somehow contingent on that power. To say that humans are contingent on God's power is to say that humans do not owe their existence to themselves, they owe their existence to God. So humans come from God. They are intended by God.